Hey, it's Courier Girl, and I want to talk about your vehicle in a little bit different way. Did you know that your vehicle is a university on wheels? That's right. You can get the absolute best education possible right in your vehicle as you're driving along doing deliveries. You know, I didn't think about this when I first started out. I would listen to the radio. I wouldn't listen to anything. I would talk on the phone, hands-free, of course. Um, but I didn't really think about learning while I was driving. You know, and then I would get into audiobooks, but I would do like fiction audiobooks or, you know, something entertaining. And that's cool sometimes. Or I'd listen to comedy or whatever. But again, not learning. And... Then over time, a little light bulb went on in my head and I'm like, I can freaking learn stuff when I'm on the road. It is like one of the best ways to get a great education. So I just wanted to talk about that today because if you're not using your vehicle as a university on wheels, you're kind of missing out. So what is it that you would learn about? Well, it really depends on your personality and what you like, right? If you are into um, the history of sports, you can listen to all sorts of podcasts, audios. You can even listen to videos. Of course, you can't watch them, so you have to you have to um, pick videos that don't really require the visual. So there's that. But you could be learning all about the history of sports if you're interested in. The history of our world. You could be listening to all sorts of things about the history of our world. I really like that subject, so I'm listening to everything from, you know, history of 50 years ago to 150 years ago to 1,000 years ago to, you know, going back to the Greeks, Egyptians, ancient Sumerians, and theories about, you know, where different things, artifacts, and whatnot came from. It's really fascinating. Now, I don't take... All of that is gospel truth, but it is interesting to hear different people's opinions. So what else might you be interested in? Maybe you're interested in health. Maybe you're trying to improve your health and you have a few different people that you're following that you think has really great information and you just want to know more about what they're doing. So you might listen to their videos or their podcasts or whatever. The um, person that's been helping me with my health over the last year and a half, I've made so many improvements just in the last six months. It's amazing. And I'm actually in his private group that I pay for. So I listen to the videos that are in the group. You don't have to really watch them because it's just him talking. So they're kind of like audios. I um, participate in the chats where I ask questions and then he answers them when he's doing the videos. I really um, will go looking for other things. So that's really important to me. If it's important to you too, then maybe you have people that you follow. Or if you don't, I can hook you up with the guy that I follow. And you can learn more about health and wellness and stuff like that. Maybe you are interested in business and you want to start another business or start getting multiple streams of income. That's also interesting to me. And I'm always listening to different things, getting different ideas. Um, again, I don't take all of them. You know, I don't just like blindly follow people. I do my research, but it's a great way to listen and find out about things that you didn't know about. Or if you're already into something, to listen to video tutorials that will teach you how to do different aspects of a certain business. You could listen to my stuff when you're in a car. I mean, that, that's the kind of stuff that you could listen to. But these are things that are just, they're not just for pure entertainment. They're for your education, your advancement, your expansion as a human being. And I think that's so important that we have this time. We're driving from place to place, even if your stops are close together. Like I used to do a route where every stop was like 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes apart. But still, I would just pause the video when I got out and then I'd start it again when I got in. And it's amazing what you can get done doing an entire route that's seven or eight hours long, but in five or 10 or 15 minute increments. You can listen to a lot and absorb a lot of information. So yeah. Oh, another thing is you could learn a language. 
I've been intending to learn a language for a long time, but I'm just not doing it because I got to be honest, languages are, are hard for me. They are not one of the easiest things for me to learn. So I start and I stop and I start and I stop. But I think it is important that all of us are multilingual. You know, in other countries in the U.S., a lot of people speak English and they may speak three or four other languages too. So we're kind of language poor um, because the world at least at this point in history, works mostly on English. So we don't have to know anything else. But even if you didn't really want to know to have conversations in other languages, wouldn't it be cool to be able to eavesdrop and dip in on conversations when they don't think you know what they're talking about? Yeah. So these are just some things that you can learn and that you can use your time in a car for Turn your vehicle into a university on wheels. All right, that's it for now. I just wanted to share that. Let me know in the comments what you are learning and what interests you, because maybe the rest of us can find inspiration from that. Peace out, and I will see you on the road.